Namaste everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I have got so many requests from the people that uh, what can we practice for upper back and the shoulders. Nowadays everybody is sitting on the desks, uh, busy with the mobile phones or working on the desk, studying, anything we do, what we do, most of the time we go forward. So like phone, if we are using, if we are using like this, desk we are using like this. And same time, whenever we are studying something, we always, if we are sitting on the table, we are always going forward. So, what happens? If I turn to this side, you will see our back is always, upper back is leaning forward. So, that is the reason what happens. Lot of people, they get issue with the upper back. So, what is the problem with the upper back? So, you will see if we stay like this for longer time, what will happen? This upper back muscles, especially trapezius and the other deep muscles of the back, what will happen? They are over stretched all the time. So, we are whenever you are going forward means they are stretching and once we are stretching them all the time, then what will happen? They get over stretch and they become weak and when we are going all the time forward, what happen? This pectoral muscles, what will happen? They become short. So, what happens that one? Once they become short, what will happen? They will pull your shoulders forward from both sides. So, shoulders become round and upper back becomes round and that is the reason you will see once these muscles, back muscles become weak, there is so much pain being generated because they do not have any power anymore to hold your shoulders back and hold your postures back. So, today I am going to tell you only 5 to 6 practices what you can do at home without going any classes, you can do from the home and you can cure or you can save your posture and you can be free from the back pain and upper back issues to correct your postures. To do all this thing, you need some equipments. We need a chair. You see this chair? This is very fancy chair because I am at the moment in Maldives in a resort and this resort is known for sustainability and its own very unique styles. So, you will see this very unique chair here. And what you need next? You need a yoga belt. If you do not have yoga belt, you can use a towel, you can use your scarf or anything, something like this, this much long, it is double. So, longer or this much long will be ok. And what other thing you need? You need a block. This is yoga block, it is wooden block or if you do not have this one, for example, if you are going to the gym or any working out place, you will find this roller and these rollers are very helpful even you can order and you can keep them and you can use them regularly. They are very helpful for lot of pain relief and uh, stretching the muscles and relieving the pains. So, these are the things you need to uh, do all these practices. So, first practice, let us start with the strap. So, if I bring to my shoulders, so you can see this much gap, right. So, this much gap means like a around 6 to 8 inch from both shoulders or if your shoulders are stiff, maybe you need wider. So, you can keep wider also, but I will keep this much. So, this is much, then what you will do? You can hold in front like this. So, this is strap should not be loose, it is all the time stretching away. And then what we will do? We will warm up the shoulders or you can say we will loosen up the shoulders little bit by taking the hands up and down like this. Yeah. So, what you have to do? I will turn from the side, so you can see how much you can go. So, you can sit nicely firm, so your back should be straight, back not going forward and not bending forward also. So, you can hold like this the strap yeah. and then what we will do? We will from here, we will take it back. So, you see, so if you can take this much, this much is ok. If you can go more, you can take more. So, it is up to your flexibility and up to your limit. If your shoulders are too tight, maybe you cannot go this much, you will be here only. This is up to you completely that how much you can go. You do not have to see and do the way I am doing or the much I can go, you do not have to do that much, you just listen to your body. So, going like this and coming back and let us go again. You can inhale and go back and when you go back like you want to stay like 5 to 10 seconds. So, not repeating so much, just stay there. So, you can feel the deeper stretch and you can develop little bit muscle memory, which is very important to correct the postures. Again coming forward and let us go again, inhale like 5 to 10 seconds 
exhale. Let us go one more time. Yeah. So, you can do always minimum 5 times, I will not say less than 5 times. So, you can do 5 repetition. So, this is I did 4 times, but you can do 5 times. We are going to use this chair after opening the shoulders a little bit, then we go on the knees like this and you go a little bit away from the chair. So, first what we will do, you put one hand on the chair like this. So, flat palm you putting on the chair and make sure your knees, you see knees and the hips in one line, Yeah, not going too much forward like this, not going too much back, little bit here and there is ok, but if you keep knee and hips in one line that will be good position and stable position and keep the knees wide, not together, hips wide. Then put the hand here and with the hand you are putting make sure your elbow is straight. Then what we will do? We will lower the body like this. So, you will see if you have stiff shoulders you might not be able to go this much. So, just see how much you can go and take support from the arm which is down. You can share the body weight and just go down and again like holding 5 to 10 seconds. Yeah. Then come up take a deep breath inhale and exhale and let us go again. So, again lower as much as you can. So, just think that you want to spread your armpits. So, armpits are short you want to make them wider. So, that is what we need to think. So, you can go more and more and more again holding for 5 to 10 seconds and coming up and then again go and again like holding 5 to 10 seconds and up. So, I did 3 times as I said you can repeat for 5 times. If I do 5 times the video is going to be very long. Then put this hand down and change with the same other side. So, now I am putting the left one you can do the same from other side whichever side do you do first repeat from other side. So, again share the weight with the opposite arm which is down and go like this. So, you see again thinking that armpit area becoming wider and coming up again inhale and with the normal breathing you can hold for 5 to 10 seconds. And up let us do third time. So, again go 5 to 10 seconds. and come up. Okay, then put the hands down, you can repeat 5 times. When you do this one, you might feel little strain in the shoulder. So, when you come down, you can just drop the shoulders like this, like you want to bring the shoulder blades together and then just spread the shoulder blades. So, you can loosen that area after doing this practice. Yeah. So, you will feel relaxed shoulders. And after doing this one, if you can, not necessarily, first you have to try one by one arm. But if you have practiced already for some time and if you think can do with the both hands, then you can put the both hands down like this and then try to go down like this. Again like 5 to 10 seconds and then come up, take a deep breath, inhale, exhale. Then next inhale go again. Again you can hold here 5 to 10 seconds. again come back and then third time again 5 to 10 seconds. All right, coming back and then put the hands down and once again if you feel shoulders little bit strain after this practice again you can do retraction and contraction and retraction. So, this practice yeah. So, this is will release the all stress you get by this practice. Should not get a stress, but in the beginning when you do you will get little stress. So, just you drop the shoulders and spread the shoulders. So, this one you can do it will help to release any tension you get. Okay. Now, next practice then let us go to do the third practice and third practice what we will do. So, you can sit like this or you can keep the legs straight. I will push this stair little bit away. 
so I can be fully on the mat. So if you have roller, you can take the roller. If you don't have roller, yoga block, you can take the yoga block. First, I will show with the roller because this is less higher. So you can put the roller behind or block behind whatever you have and then we will go and place the upper back on the block. Yeah. So not putting too much on the lower back and not taking too close to shoulder. So you see this line. So your line of the row lower ribs. So you can see this rib ending here and should be in somewhere in similar line. Then what do you do? Both hands you take behind the head. So do not drop the head like this otherwise you get neck tension. So what you have to do? Hold the head and chin should be touching the collarbone like this. So your neck will be relaxed. Then you can keep the knee bent or you can keep the legs straight that is up to you completely whatever you feel comfortable and holding the head back chin to chest and just going back from your chest yeah like this you see so you will go down using the upper back not the neck neck you are holding back so chin is close to the chest and just go as far as you can so again you can hold like 3 2 sorry again you can hold 5 to 10 seconds and come up you can take a deep breath inhale exhale and then let us go again again holding your neck back head back and just using your upper back 5 to 10 seconds again come up and then let us go once more holding your head back I am repeating all the time so you do not forget to hold your head back not dropping your neck otherwise you might get neck pain and then coming up again and then you can remove the hands and come back to sitting. So this is the way we will be do with the roller but if you do not have roller you can use the block. So this block you will see it is much higher, higher than that one and higher we can do only if you have little bit flexibility. If you do not have flexibility better to do with the lower things. So again just putting the block in same place the place you are putting the roller. So again like if you can touch lower rib so if you taking the same lines you can see the lower side of the block should be in similar line yeah. So lower ribs and lower side of the block in similar line again hold your neck back like this so chin tucked with your collar bones and then go using upper back to go as far as you can 5 to 10 seconds and come back go again inhale open the chest open the chest and open your upper back hips is still touching down yeah do not take the hips up hips and leg fully down 5 to 10 seconds again inhale and take one long breath inhale exhale and let us go again going back again holding your head back 5 to 10 seconds and then coming back and then take your hands down and come to sitting again and then so now what you can do for that you can do very simple practice you can take the arms up like this and take your one arm whichever to opposite shoulder back side of the shoulder and the arm which is straight still you can hold the opposite elbow and do not drop your head forward too much keep the head straight or if, if you have a stiff shoulder you can take little bit forward that is fine but try to keep the head straight and then pull this back as far as you can again remember to hold 5 to 10 seconds and then same to other side so now taking the hand back side of shoulder pulling the elbow to opposite side 5 to 10 seconds then let us repeat one more time as you as I said already you can repeat 3 to 5 times but this one I am just showing you 2 times and then 
other side once more and come back release. So, this was number 4 practice. Number 5th is very easy, you can do this one. It takes away a lot of tension from upper back and stretches your pectoral muscles. So, now and takes your shoulder and stretches your pectoral muscles and takes your shoulders back. So, now you can make the finger lock behind the back, but make sure you keep the back straight looking front all the time and shoulders going back yeah, not hunching forward. So, chest coming front staying straight and then now what you will do inhale and try raising your arms up as far as you can not necessarily too much wherever you can, but looking front and not going forward like this back straight. So, you will feel that stretch in your front side of the shoulders and your chest. So, hold that pectoral muscles which pulling your shoulders forward they are getting opened stretched and exhale and let us go again inhale 3 to 5 seconds always remember to hold on and exhale. Let us go one more time inhale. and exhale and then you can take the hands on the knees. If you feel any tension just roll the shoulders like this and then opposite also. Yeah. So, these are the 5 practices you can do to open your upper back. So, if you like this video make sure to subscribe hit the like button and you can share with your family and friends whoever you think have similar problem and they need to do it. Thank you very much for today. Namaste.